Hey everyone, here's a quick update. After a long time of wanting to do it, I finally started working on making a complete course. Actually, I've been working on two complete courses. First, the response to the visual scripting videos was great, and there isn't much content on it, so several weeks ago I decided to do a complete visual scripting course. I really want it to be an excellent course and very comprehensive, so I structured it in such a way that the course involves building not one, but three separate games. That way you can learn from several different examples which will help you learn how to apply it to any game genre you have in mind. However, as I was working on that course, I realized that it was going to end up being massive and take a ton of work. And since this would be my very first course, I didn't want to risk missing something obvious just because I'm not familiar with the specifics of the process of creating a course. So I changed gears and decided to work on a supposedly smaller course. So this one is on making a builder defender game using C Sharp. It is an interesting mix that has helmets from a city builder and a tower defense game, so if either of those genres are something you're interested in, then this course will provide you with a very nice base to learn from and expand into your own projects. With the knowledge gained from this course, you'll be able to make city builders, RTSs, tower defense games, tycoons, village simulators, and so on. Like I said, this was meant to be a quick course to test out the whole process, but really it turned out to be almost as massive. As of right now, I'm almost done with writing and validating the whole course, my normal video tutorials are usually somewhere around two to three hundred lines long, and the text for this course is already over six thousand lines long, so yeah, it's quite a bit more. But my main priority is always quality, so even though the scope for this course got a bit too large, I'm still very happy with the result. The game is nice, it's fun, it's built in a very clean way with all the systems nicely decoupled. It's also built in a very modular way, so it would be really easy to add more resource types, building types, and so on. My main goal with this course is to gather feedback and apply everything I learn into making the complete visual scripting course better, so I will make this one as cheap as possible. Now with all this talk about courses, if you are someone who is only interested in small tutorial videos, then don't worry, I will still continue making those. In fact, as I build these courses, I'm coming up with lots of topics that would be great as separate videos. For example, on the Builder Defender course, I made a really awesome shader for constructing a building. It's a really awesome effect, although it's pretty simple to do, so that's exactly the kind of thing that I want to cover in detail in a separate video tutorial. So with this video, I just wanted to keep you all posted. I'm trying to get the courses done, and I've done a ton of work these past weeks, but since it's my first time, I have no idea how much longer it will take. If I can get it done by next week, then everything will be fine. I still have two videos ready to go, but if it takes more than that, then I may post fewer videos as I finish the course. There's links in the description if you want to know more. So if you're interested in complete courses or normal video tutorials, since I will always continue making those, then make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos. Alright, that's it for me. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.